Okay, so it's been a while since I uh, did a video and uh, holidays came up, sold my house, moved into a temporary house. We're starting to build our new house out at the Lake Norman Air Park uh, where we're gonna have a hangar for the Bearhawk. Had to do a lot of packing and moving, and uh, at the same time, I had to really hurry up and get the wings done. Not hurry in such a way that I compromised anything, but just really knuckle down and get it over with. Once the wings were completed, I brought them up here to Statesville Airport. Um, there's, I think the previous video shows that trip. And so what we've managed to do right now is we've pinned the wings to the fuselage. I had some guys come out here and help me a couple days ago. So we're basically just uh, got a loose connection to the fuselage. And if you can tell by the looks of it behind me, uh, dihedral is almost in a negative. So, um, but that penning to the fuselage is gonna allow me to uh, hinge the wing up one degree on each side and get that dihedral set. So let's take a look at the airplane. So you can see as we stand behind the airplane, uh, I'm almost uh, down one or two degrees on the dihedral, but that's because we're only hinged in place at the fuselage and we're resting on the outboard uh, side of the, on both sides of the wings. Uh, you can see here also that that uh, Horner tip, just want to show that off because I think it looked really good. The Horner tip is in place and uh, looks really nice at the end of that wing but that's not what we're working on today. We're going to talk about, you can see here, this is the rear attachment point on the fuselage for the right wing and there's one in the front. So that's an AN5 an AN and the one in front is an AN6. And he had to play around with that until I finally got the right length. So today what we're gonna work on is setting the dihedral one degree on each side and we're going to do that with the uh, strut. We're going to drill the strut top and bottom. These are the billet aluminum uh, strut attachment fittings and uh, as we raise the wing up we'll lock it in place. We'll get the dihedral at one degree but real quickly let me just show you what the strut looks like. This is a single strut which is really a lot of people ask how do you identify a high wing tail dragger as a bear hawk and if you think about it, bear hawks are probably one of the few experimentals, um, high wing tail draggers with a single strut. And that strut there is from a Cessna. It's the standard strut that the bear hawks use. And if you look at it, of course you got the airfoil shape, but where the attachment fittings go in, it's really beefed up on the inside here. So we'll have a lot of meat to um, bolt our uh, aluminum attachment fittings too. Same thing on the left side. We'll be running those uh, attachment fittings off of the top and bottom. This is connected to the wing spar. You can see where that connection is made in here. And of course, in order to do this accurately, the tail needs to be raised and the fuselage needs to be level in a bank attitude and the fuselage needs to be level in a longitudinal direction as well. As I set the dihedrals, a builder's transit might be the thing to use. Okay, so I lost the audio, but what we see here is the transit has been set up 
and I've got a tape measure hanging off the root end of the wing and wherever the transit hits on that tape measure is going to be our zero mark because what we're looking for is one degree of up dihedral or three inches from the root to the tip. So I'm seeing that that hit, I think, it's, I think it says there at 12 and three quarters, something like that. So we're gonna add three inches or actually 2.9 inches to that. And so we just keep raising the, the, the wing up until we get that uh, 12 and three quarters plus three on the outboard uh, measuring tape there. So that's what we're looking at in this uh, shot. Using that single point jack right there, just a screw jack. I've got it underneath the uh, rib and the spar, and we can just slowly turn that up until the uh, the uh, di until we hit the dihedral, and then uh, we'll just lock it in from there, and then we'll get those um, strut fittings drilled. Oh, here we got a uh, we've got also got a uh, digital level that says one degree, so we're actually confirming that we're pretty much on track. And now I'm just showing the. Uh, wing assembly manual that uh, talks about how to set the dihedral and the 2.9 inches or one degree. So just referencing the manual. So wings are on and fully supported. No more, uh, no props or stands or anything. They've got the, they're, they're all torqued down. So let's take a look at the strut. So we see here, we've got the four uh, AN4 bolts there these are all torqued i'm using steel nuts here they're just a little bit shorter and they give me a little bit more exposed thread um, this is an an6 and that's fully torqued as well we'll go down here to the bottom all four of these are on and that's an an7 that's fully torqued as well i like to use that um i like to use that torque viz which is that yellow right there more for more for the fact that it just reminds me that I torqued it um, then we also have I don't know if we can see up in there or not but yeah it's too dark but that's an AN6 on the front of the wing root and then back here we've got an AN5 I would have preferred the nut come off the back side here but that's just about the best way we could get to it so that's it everything is uh you know we've got wings on and uh really like what we've got going on man that's a good feeling i think i'm going to leave the tail up um i'm going to also use the transit to level the tail and it's just a lot easier with that tail up like that i can get inside these inspection panels you know almost at eye level as opposed to crawling on my back and i can do work in here i can finish attaching these uh rudder or these elevator cables trim system so i've got a few things i got to work on there but um we'll get the tail the tail feathers leveled out and then we'll tighten up the the uh, flying wires so we're moving along mm -hmm.